Did you get the Nando's 20% too? 50%. 50? No. I won't put that in the video. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not put that in. I'll get my head ripped off. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. That's your excuse. Yeah. It's Friday. Saturday, Sunday. What? From Burgs, your mate? No, not a chance. No? No. Don't believe in that. Are you more of the Jeremy Clarkson power persuasion? Yeah, I watch a lot of him. I watched the Grand Tour all the time. So. Fucking love Jeremy Clarkson. Gonna smash it? I might smash the car up. Well, don't <laughs> worry. I've got brakes, so not likely. Unless I fall asleep. Because you're driving so good. If you're driving it's that it's good, it's still, my driving's amazing. You might just have to pitch your back and go to sleep. Cool. You'll be alright. Awesome. I'll put my postcode in. You can take me home. What is up, guys? We are back for another driving mock test, and we're where are we today? Uh, Belvedere. Belvedere. We're at Belvedere with Harry. Harry called me up and he was like, "I've got a mock test at Irith," and I turned up to his house and then he was like, "Nope." Belvedere. Belvedere. Cool. So we're at Belvedere. Got a driving test route loaded up on the sat nav. You like cars though, right? What's your ideal car? M40 BMW. Yes. See, straight off with the fast hatchback. Love it. Not stealth, but a good, good car. Don't like the quiet cars, the electric. Don't like quiet. No, no. So Tesla, not for you. No. Not a fan. Petrol person. Petrol. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy yeah. Clarkson. Jeremy Clarkson. Let's go. Speed and power. If you're gonna do it, do it big, do it loud, and do it fast. That's what she said. <laughs> Definitely not gonna put that in. I'm gonna give you a real driving mock test on a route that someone's actually taken. I recorded this off another driving test. This is one of their real driving test routes. Cool? Yeah. Good luck. Guys, get in the comments. Wish Harry luck for his driving test. Hopefully you can learn something, especially if your driving test is at Belvedere as well. If you've got any hints or tips for Harry, put it in the comments. Because we're all about the positivity. Give Harry the props and well wishes and, and the calmness some other stuff. Well. And what? Calmness, because I've got sometimes my nerves get really bad. Do you get nerves? Yeah. Oh, what do you do about nerves? Cool, let's let's do this because sometimes this is a common I'll, thing. Normally I put music on because music just calms me down. So oh, if damn. I'm like with my sister, I'll put capital on. Can't put on or capital ki or kiss one hundred. Because I'm not know. licensed for capital on YouTube. That's you gonna know. cost me a lot of money to have you know that what? Back I'll just track. I'll sing something in my head. Yeah, sing that. While you're driving, let's have a sing song. My singing voice is horrible. What are you gonna sing? Oh McDonald had a farm? E I E I O. Probably. Jeremy Clarkson had a farm. Probably. E I E I O. Probably <laughs> I'll keep it going. Back in. How do you check your headlights and tail lights are working? Uh, so you would switch the dial over to the dip headlights. Yes. You can check reflections in windows or cars, mm. or you can get There's out. There's one question that you can check reflections on, but the other ones. Well, that's break, is that, that brake lights? That's brake lights, yeah. Okay, so you. Get out of the car and have a look. Yeah, don't be lazy, just jump out, have a look. Okay. It takes two seconds. See, I've got there in the end. Cool. What would you look at? Um the front two like so the front two lamps at the front and yeah. then the, the red lights at the back. Brilliant. Headlights, tail lights, check them both. That's the answer. I'm gonna ask you another show me question while we're driving. Happy with that? Yeah. I've shown you where the buttons are, haven't I? Yeah. A few of them. All there. All there, yeah. all there, just somewhere there else. Yeah, it's Mercedes, so stuff's in the wrong place, so I helped you with that. If you get confused with the handbrake, I might help you a little bit with that. They've missed a stalk, they forgot to put away and everything's on that one. Yeah, budget. It's all backwards. Budget car. An expensively budget car. <laughs> Expensive budget car. All right, Harry. Right. What was that accent? Like, what was no that idea. accent, mate? What are you doing? You went to Wales, so it might be your Welsh from. I did go to Wales. Oh, Wales is bloody lovely. Oh yeah, we are going round about right. Okay, cool, so you so, know where you're going. Across there and... Uh, yes, so. arrive on when you're ready. Oh my god. Cool, try again. Let's have another rush. Welcome! 
Welcome to the commentary on this mock driving test with Harry in Belvedere. Thanks for checking out the video. Even if your driving test isn't in Belvedere, watching Harry's driving is going to be really useful for you because Harry's got the number one thing an examiner is looking for as soon as you set off. His driving made me feel safe in the car. He had a bit of a rough start there on that roundabout and stalled a couple of times and I gave him a driver fault for it. But I'm not too worried. He's not used to driving the Mercedes and every car you get in, even a different model from the same brand, will feel very different to drive and take a few minutes to get used to. Plus, he might just be nervous for the start of the test. Harry's been kind enough to let me film his mock test so you guys can learn from his driving. So YouTube, do your thing, get in the comments and wish him luck for his real test coming up soon. And while you're there, do me a favour, smash the like button so YouTube knows we put the most love and energy into bringing you guys the best mock test videos on the platform. After 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. Check out how confidently Harry takes this junction. He's got his clutch back up slowly to smooth out the engine braking, perfect speed, nice smooth steering and straight back up to third gear to make good progress down the road. After 300 yards, turn left. Harry's driving really is a good example of how well you need to drive on a driving test to impress the examiner. The left turn here, even downhill, is smooth and check out the line he takes around the corner. Turn left. This is a common mistake I see a lot. Even though there are parked cars on the left, he keeps it tight to the curb in case a car's coming the other way, just like this. safe place. Alright Harry, cheers. Pull away when you're ready. On your driving test, your examiner is going to ask you to pull over three or four times to check how safely you park and how safely you pull away. If they ask you to pull up in a safe place, you need to stop somewhere you could leave your car. No red lines, no yellow lines and no drop curbs. When you pull away, don't forget your blind spot check and signal if there's anyone around who could benefit from it. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Roundabouts are something that always gives learners nerves, especially at first. That was a nice easy one, but depending on where you take your test, there might be some really hard multi-lane roundabouts to negotiate. It's a really good idea to practice in the area you're taking your test in so there's no nasty surprises. When it's safe to do so, show me how you de the rear windscreen. Even though Harry took his time with that, he still had a little wobble with the steering. The show me question is designed to be a distraction, to see how you'll cope with changing music and doing other things that might need you to take your eyes off the road for a second. Don't fall for the distraction. Take a second or even a minute. If you can't quickly locate the button, ask to pull over so you can find it. As a last resort, because you're not familiar with the car you're in, you can skip it altogether and take the driver fall. After 300 yards, Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. 
Harry cut that roundabout a little bit, but not enough to give him a fault. You need to make some effort to go around a mini roundabout, but not so much that it takes your car off course if it's a small junction. Let's see how he gets on with this next one. Small stall for Harry there, but he recovered quickly and still made the gap in traffic on that busy roundabout. Coming up, it's 50 miles an hour. If you're new to driving, that might sound daunting, but trust in the process. It will get easier to go faster. Harry doesn't quite make it to 50, but he's close enough. By the time you pass your driving test, you should be confident using a motorway and driving at 70. So as soon as you get your car, you can take trips to the beach with your mates and make full use of that new license. This road is pretty long, let's forward. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Harry is about to make a serious fault here. He's chosen the middle lane to go straight, which is okay. It would have been easier on the left as there weren't any road markings to say the left lane is left turn only, but there's a car on his right setting off at the same time. When you're going left or straight on a roundabout, you need to keep to the outside, which would have given that car Harry squeezed out enough room to make progress around the roundabout with us. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Harry is making a critical error here and uses the middle lane again to turn right. When you turn right on any kind of junction, including a roundabout, you need to be in the right lane unless road markings say otherwise. Harry looked so confident up until this point and he's still driving like an absolute professional, so I suspect he hasn't realized the mistake or maybe he wasn't taught roundabouts correctly. It just goes to show, however good at driving you are, you can still fail your driving test. So always have a plan B. I think Harry's going to kick himself for that when he watches this back. After 800 yards, bear left, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. first exit. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Lucky for Harry, that roundabout was pretty empty and he could continue without stopping. Great early mirror check and smoothly across to the right before the bus lane. Harry also spotted the 20 mile an hour sign at the start of this road and is keeping to the speed limit well. If you were focusing on steering and exiting the roundabout, you could easily miss that sign and it would be a very easy way to fail your driving test. This road could have a much higher speed limit. After 300 yards, Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit.
Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Harry is correctly stopping for vehicles passing him closely, keeping his speed low and looking all around for hazards. This is a good manoeuvre. just saw I marked something on the marking sheet. Not everything your examiner does with their marking iPad will be a mistake. I just marked that Harry had done the right reverse manoeuvre and there are a few other things that the examiners need to mark which are mistakes that you've made. So, don't pay attention to what the examiner's doing on your test. Focus on the road because it might not even be a fault. This is a super narrow road. Turn right. We have a saying, less space, less speed. You're much more accurate with steering and positioning at lower speeds. Remember, you're not in a race, you're on a driving test and there's no points for speed, only for safety. Show your examiner how safe you are and pick up that license at the end. At the end of the road, turn left. Turn left. Notice how Harry emerges from junctions. He's not rushing the car with too much gas and he's not setting off too fast. He's controlling the speeds so that his steering is neat and tidy. He's been lucky to get big gaps in traffic and ideally I'd like him to be able to be a bit quicker so that if he's in a busier area he could set off into a smaller gap in traffic. But his passenger will feel safe with him at the wheel and that's the ultimate goal on a driving test. After 300 yards, turn left. Turn left. Turn left. 
So what do you guys think of Belvedere as a test centre? It's got fast dual carriageways, big roundabouts, narrow roads and small country lanes like this one. Would you like to take your driving test here? After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. I am being a little bit harsh with this driver fault for signalling too early, but the point of a mock test is to learn where we can improve our driving, and if it's not pointed out because I'm trying to be nice, then neither Harry nor you will learn from it. He should have signalled a couple of seconds later once he passed that exit so no one could be confused and think he was exiting at the wrong junction. Harry is going for the overtake on this bus. The car in front signalled right, but Harry didn't. Who do you think is right? Well, let's think who we're signalling for. The cars behind know what we're about to do. It's obvious. It would be quite confusing if we didn't overtake. And as soon as Harry positions to the right to overtake, his intention is confirmed. The bus driver isn't looking for our signal. They're busy dealing with passengers. And any oncoming vehicles don't want to see a signal as though we're turning across them. So, Harry was correct, but I see a lot of people do this wrong. Note though, that if you're changing lanes to overtake, you should always signal for a lane change. Turn right. We are back at Belvedere Driving Test Centre just before that cloud opens up and the cameras get soaked. And even though Harry didn't pass this time, he did really well and he's a very confident driver. This is exactly why taking a mock test before your real test is an excellent idea, so that you can find any little mistakes you might make in practice before you make them with an examiner, fail and then have to wait a million years for another test. Belvedere doesn't have its own car park, so we'll pull over here and get the results. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Handbrake neutral. Straighten up the wheels. Great. Cool. So, Harry, that's the end of your driving test. How was it? Oh, look at that, the road's just starting, it's just in time. <laughs> amazing. amazing. So when you're turning right, what lane do you need to use? Right lane. Right lane. What lane did you use? Middle one. Use the middle lane to turn right. Yeah, that's incorrect use of the roundabouts. That's got to be a fail. But there was another time, uh, and you did this on both of the roundabouts. On the roundabouts, if you're starting in the middle lane, should you position yourself in the outside of the roundabout or the inside of the, the roundabout. Is that, inside. is that when I went across really? to a dual carriageway? Yeah, so you went across, you started in the middle lane and you went across, but well, you I used the in... inside. You should have been on the oh, outside yeah, because okay. there's another car on your right. So there's you and there's another car. You're so both setting off at the same time, but then you squeezed them, made them go behind you because you then used the inside. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. But I think that was a really smooth drive. You had Just such apart, good. Apart from the hill start when it was like. Are you kidding? Your hill start clutch control was amazing. You weren't even using the brakes. You had the car at the biting point on the pedal cam. It's going to be, it's going to be insane. It's going to be crazy. That clutch control was some of the best I've ever seen. Especially as your test isn't for so long as well. Okay. You can work on those two things not easily, and your sister's well helpful and lets you drive as well. What's your sister's name? Give her a shout out. Kelsey. Kelsey. We got Kelsey for putting Harry in let this me, position. Let me scuff her alloys Oh, really? Yeah. Don't do that or I've she's not going to let you drive. I've done that one on her car. And then you've but got three she, more to she go. She doesn't know yet, so don't tell her. <laughs> let her know before this video goes out. Yeah, I've scuffed, it, I've scuffed it all the way. You need to go have a look at it. Okay. It's quite bad as well. It's the whole thing. Should I edit that out? No, it's all right. She okay. won't watch it. Great. 
Good. Well, Harry, thank you very much for coming down to see us. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Put some love for Harry in the comments. His drive was amazing. You can definitely pick up loads of good driving tips from watching this guy. Catch you in the next video. Peace.